the recording now. Okay. As usual, I will just provide uh, after they created uh, uh, PowerPoint, like uh, presentations. So from a previous experience, um, today's tutor, uh, today's today's lab, uh, it has nothing to do with the with your assignment one or assignment two, but it's more like the implementations of uh, part of the uh, lecture on uh, week four when you were uh, studying uh, about the device device and file systems. So uh, in the past, when I was uh, taking uh, this subject, um, you know, like every time uh, on the on the lab, uh, I was I was just uh, you know like uh, follow all the instructions uh, without knowing uh, or without having like a really good understanding about what I'm doing. So I just I just follow every single steps and then finish the the lab. And then yeah, um, so so I'd like to avoid uh, that kind of experience. So that's why uh, I will give you, you know, like uh, like like a, a concept, a concept of uh, what we are doing. Uh, so you you can get like really really good understanding about what what you are doing uh, on the lab. So. Uh, before I start this one, how how are you going with all the uh, assignments? Assignment one, uh, looking good, or what's going on with that? Uh, Ian and uh, Goemir, how is it going? Oh, oh not great. <laughs> what's what's happening, Goemir? Um, Ian, good job. <laughs> behind okay oh okay yeah 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 <laughs> that's that's okay what to do with the Linux sorry oh, okay um try to install uh VM uh yes yes go uh that's that's something uh I think if you if you if you watch uh or attend it with my uh okay yeah uh, if you if you could figure it out, that's really good. But I got I got the same uh, issues when I was using the VM um, to to uh, to uh, to check or to check my SD card uh, because like uh, the thing is I I couldn't see my SD card when I was uh, trying to uh, using DD command uh, from the VM. That's why uh, I used the uh, um, Ubuntu live on USB instead. So yeah, but if you if you can figure it out, that's totally fine. That's that's great. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, um, yeah. VM was getting difficult. So a little bit of tips for you guys. So uh, before I start uh, today's today's tutorial, uh, I believe we can we can cover all of them. So before before we start, I might just give you a little bit tips. So probably uh, in order for you to to pass uh, your first assignment i think uh definitely you can knock off knock off the the liberal lack uh pass uh i'm pretty sure you can knock off that one and um in terms of the great fantastic yeah you can knock off that one installation of docker i believe if you if you can just simply follow my uh last week last week lab you'll definitely get 10 marks and in terms of the installations of the packages, um, whatever, great, fantastic. Yeah, what, what, whatever, whatever that you can install uh, out of the box, uh, meaning that uh, if you are using Ubuntu, you just you use apt-get. Just try to complete all those tasks, and then don't get stuck with you know like for example like uh, the GCC or uh, ZSH. Uh, that's for your additional mark. 
uh, if I if I can give you a suggestion, probably knock off the easier stuff, and then you can uh, and then you can you can start commit and push, and probably just you know like provide referencing and then the the layout you know pretty much just just by providing the referencing, uh, you know like uh, no. Uh, no issues with the spelling, and then uh, give like professional uh, layout. You you for they got fifteen marks. How would you be sent uh, in the end? Um, I think uh, you so so you don't really have to send uh, the file, uh, but as uh, as soon as you uh, push and commit your Docker image. Uh, we can just pull your uh, file from Docker Hub, uh, and then after that, uh, from that point, uh, we will start uh, marking your assignments. Does that make sense? So, so you need to you need to uh, upload the documentations, of course. But in terms of the file, you don't you don't you don't need to you don't need to uh, upload the the file to us. You just simply need to uh, commit and push on your uh, Docker Hub. So that's where we we can get your your file. So that's uh, hopefully it does make sense. Yeah, great. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit tips. Uh, definitely. Yes. Yes. Yes, Ian. Oh, uh, just remember uh, from the previous experience also, like uh, last year, many students like they they did all the assignments last minute without committing all the without committing all the works, and then you know like you you just you just keep doing installing package, you just uh, changing the uh, changing all the config, but but the they didn't really commit and push uh, to to Docker account. Uh, sorry, to Docker Hub. In the end, it took ages to to push uh, in one hit, and then in the end, it was timeout, and then you know, like disaster. So yeah, I just want to give you like a you know like a little bit of uh, uh, mistakes. Yeah. So the thing is, uh, as soon as you, uh, I'll give you like a, a tips. As soon as you install the, let's say, uh, at the moment you install the. The image, uh, CentOS, uh, you have to do like the initial commit. So, for example, like the next the next step will be, uh, let's say you install three or four different packages out of the box. Just do another commit. So just do a commit, 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 uh, because uh, here, like in Docker, uh, every time you do commit, it will pr it will create another layer. So it will not it will just create another layer. So layer by layer. So you you pretty much just uh, yes yes they call it like a delta if you that's a programming you know programming jargon like they said okay they just commit the delta you know that's that's the thing yeah okay cool let's let's get it started okay lab six uh, uh, using LVM uh, so. Uh, so that's that's about uh, again uh, this lab. It's about uh, how you create and differentiate between the physical disk and the uh, logical lo logical volume, and then uh, it it is part of the implementation of the lecture four. Okay. So now my question would be, um, yeah, we have the physical volume and logical volume, and what's from this diagram, from this uh, diagram, can anyone tell me what's the advantage of having logical volume? Uh, yeah, can anyone tell me? Because it's uh, probably it's uh, once you once you've got the concept of this one, you don't really have to come back uh, on the exam. So just remember, oh, okay, so this one, so yeah, so so it's 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 great. For you to know, security. Um, yeah, yeah. You can you can say that that security will be uh, one of the factors. Security. Yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah, but uh, that's security, correct? 
but the most uh, the most important uh, aspect will be uh, you know like the flexibility for you to expand your uh, your size your 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 data your uh, space so if you have looked like this diagram to give you like a better understanding so uh, let's say you you have the physical volume one uh, when I sell is physical volume one let's say you you have your hard drive hard drive a hard drive one and you have the hard drive B okay so inside the hard drive one you create two partitions 50 and 50 okay and inside the hard drive uh, B you just create one partition which is 50 gig so the thing is the thing you have pretty much you have two options you have two options to create the partition from the physical volume or create the partition from logical volume let me explain this so if you create the partition from physical volume let's say you create 50 gig uh, and you install stuff here your data and then suddenly it's full that's the thing as soon as it's it's full the space uh it's pretty much like it's a dead end so you allocated the you allocated the space but when when it is running out of space you can't it's really 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 difficult for you to extend if you use the physical volume that's why we are using logical volume the logical volume here pretty much it provides you like an abstractions abstractions this is this is what uh, you are going to create so from to physical volume it provides the abstractions call the volume group so from the volume group here you can just uh, allocate uh, all every single thing allocate the logical volume uh, you know uh, quite flexible so it's totally up to you uh, how much space that you want to put so for example like you 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 allocate like 50 gig add for the physical drive uh, yes yes pretty much here here you can if you add another physical drive you can just uh, put that physical physical drive inside the uh, volume group so from the volume group it the the space in the volume group it will it will increase yeah you should you should try that uh, it's really cool so the thing is this one uh, it is it is quite difficult to maintain the the physical volume because the thing is uh, okay when I say disaster you you need to turn off everything and that's if you want to increase this one you need to turn off the machine and uh, pretty much um, uh, the physical partition is rigid pretty much um, it's the, I'll, I'll give you like a simple analogy like this one so uh, imagine like you built a room in your house and you have a concrete walls so that's a physical volume when you want to expand your room definitely you'll be having a lot of issues why is that because like you have to break all the concrete so that's the physical volume whereas like the logical volume it is it is like uh, something that you can move around easily so for example like uh, you are uh, the operating system is still running but then you are running out of this space uh, by using the by using the program call LVM the one that we're gonna use later LVM here the LVM you can increase this one from 50 to 55 so so it'll be it'll be so much easier for you to stretch the the the, the volume so that's that's why uh, we introduce the logical volume so hopefully it does make sense uh, yes it's it's easy to use a uh, physical volume uh, it's straightforward but the thing is it's so rigid it's hard to it's hard to expand your uh, your 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 space so so again uh, LVM a little bit of history that one uh, 
yeah, I'll just uh, quickly uh, quickly uh, uh, explain that to you. So pretty much LVM that's first implemented on federal Linux. And again, as I said before, it is like a storage virtualizations or uh, storage abstractions. When I say storage abstractions, it's this part. And what does it do? Uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, that's that's the one that I explained previously. Uh, what does it do? The LVM. That's where you use to uh, uh, to increase or reduce this uh, this particular uh, partitions. So that's the 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 LVM. No, no, no. It's it's different. It's different rate. It's it's different. So it is it is just simply uh, simply uh, uh, correct. Yes, managed by OS. Yeah, rate is for redundancy. It's it's different concept. If you if you just have looked the lecture four, uh, it's rate. It's it's a different one. That's for redundancy. Uh, you have a lot of options like rate one, rate two. Uh, yeah, that's that's for for more details. Just uh, yeah, have a look the uh, uh, lecture four. This one it's it's about the partitions, okay? So that's the LVM, and this is the structure of the LVM, okay? If you just open up your uh, your uh, lab lab, and then page one, two, three, last page. If you open up your last page, you will see you will see uh, later you will be running this command. So this command, basically, the you need to create the volume group. So sudo uh, vg create. That's uh, where where you the LV, LVM is the program. It's it's a program uh, to to increase the space. To increase the space. Ah. So this is the structure of, of LVM. It's pretty much like similar like what I described on uh, slide two, but this is uh, to give you like a better understanding. So you have the physical physical hard drive. Uh, on the physical hard drive, normally you can create the physical volume here. From the physical volume, you create the volume group, and the volume group here. Uh, if you you if you have looked the last page, you will run this command sudo fg create and then from the group from the group this part the group you create like the uh, logical volume here logical volume you create the logical volume by running the lv create uh, uh, it's been uh, it's been uh, i believe the lab sheets uh, has been uh, updated it's supposed to be uh, using sudo this one sudo lv create and this one also sudo make our system. So once you've got the volume group, volume group will create like uh, many logical volumes. Let's say this one logical volumes you can put for far, you can put for uh, for etc, you can put for uh, for home or many logical volumes. And inside the logical volumes, you have to specify the file systems. That's where you run the last command. If you have looked the the lab sheets. That's pretty much uh, the concept of why uh, why you run this command. I hope it's totally uh, it. I hope that get like a better understanding from uh, from this lab. Again, from previous experience when I was studying, you know, like I just come to the lab. Hey, uh, you just need to follow the tutorial. Okay, I just follow everything. Okay, okay, great, but Honestly, uh, I'm a bit lost about the concept, so I don't know. Pretty much, like I don't know what what does that command uh, do. So that's why this is all the the whole concept. Okay, uh, I'll just move on if that's okay. So this is the LVM structure. So the data store, 
here, Ian. Uh, it depends on what's. Uh, it depends on uh, what structure that you use. So, for example, like if you use the logical volume, it'll be it'll be stored here. It'll be stored here. But if you uh, simply uh, do not use uh, any logical volume, it will be stored here. That's right. Yes, like this one, home, uh, logical volume one. That's right. That's totally, totally correct. Like this one, uh, you can say logical volume one. Like that one, uh, logical volume one. Uh, and then you, you can, uh, if you have looked the the the, the lab sheet, uh, the lab sheets. Uh, that's exactly what uh, you will be creating, like part one and part two. So that's 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 a logical volume one, a uh, fifty gig. That's for home, for example, like that. And this is logical volume two, logical volume three. Does that make sense? That's really good questions. If the physical volume dies, uh, definitely yeah definitely uh this one uh stuff up yeah that's really good questions uh that that's where uh you need rate to back up all this stuff honestly i haven't tried that one yeah that would be good with rate, but honestly, your questions like so. For example, like if 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 this one dies, so what will happen with that? Um, I believe because like the volume group, it's a combination between the physical volume one and the physical volume two, uh, and then where you assign where you assign the logical volume, uh, I'm not too sure what's going on behind the scene. I'm pretty sure you will you will not lose. Uh, entire data, you will not lose all the entire data, but you can still retrieve some of the data uh, because again, it's a combination between the physical uh, volume one and physical volume two, and it's thought since you are using the logical volume, but it's different case if you use the physical partitions. If you if you lose your if if the physical uh, if the hard drive one uh, is broken and it's definitely stuffed up. Everything's gone. Yeah, cool. Okay, let me uh, let me move on. Okay, so here uh, you will uh, if you check if you have looked the page two. If you have looked the page two on the tute lab, you will see the GPT. You will see the GPT. Uh, so, so one of one of the one of the uh, instructions saying that hey, uh, uh, click click the drop down menu that currently says MS DOS and click on the option GPT, as that's the partition format that we wish to use. So pretty much uh, on this slide, I just want to explain to you uh, we have two partition tables, two type of partition tables. The first one is MBR, Master Boot Record. The second one is GPT, uh, GUID Partition Table. Can anyone tell me uh, what's the difference between that one? Uh, if you know, that's good. If you don't know, that's totally fine. That's right. That's really good. That's really a valid point like that. Yes. So pretty much like the, the MBR, it's the older versions of the GPT because of the because of the, the limit. And the limit is, uh, I believe, is two tera, terabyte. I believe that's uh, two terabyte. Yes, that's I believe that's two terabyte. And the MBR can only offer four partitions. This one, four partitions, four partitions and 
one of the partitions uh, you can uh, uh, one of the partitions uh, so pretty much MBR allows the disk the, the hard disk to be divided into four partitions that that's the limitations uh, and one of from four partitions one of the partitions correct so from four partitions one of the partitions you can change into uh, extended partitions and the, the extended partition there you can create so from four so the easiest one so from partitions partitions uh, one of them uh, one of them is extended partitions partitions and then inside the extended partition you can uh, create another 26 partitions so that's the limit that's the maximum limit that will match the alphabets which is like we have like uh, 26 alphabets so pretty much a to z so yeah that's that that will match that one so that's that's the whole concept uh because like in the past when they developed this partition table mbr i believe in 1980 uh yeah they didn't they didn't even think about the limitation about that one because like back then it was just like a huge 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 data uh huge 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 space and they, and nowadays it's nothing you know so that's why like uh, they create like a uh, like a new partition table gpt uh which supports 128 uh, partitions uh, 128 partitions and 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 the thing is this one since it's new GPT um, in order in order for you to use uh, this partition table um, it has uh, the GPT uh, has to meet like a certain uh, certain requirements of the hardware so that's the drawback the drawback of the GPT uh, what I'm saying is uh, the GPT, you can only implement the GPT mostly on the latest hardware, whereas you can implement MBR on any hardware. So that's 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 the advantage and the drawback. Hopefully that gives you like a bit, you know, like like a concept. Oh, OK, I uh, on the page two, I create GPT and yeah, now I, I understand what is GPT, that one. OK, let's move on. Uh, I have. Uh, uh, just just two more slides and that's it and again as a sys admin yeah uh, that's yeah what what I have explained before yeah that's MBR if you if you don't want to use uh, more than two terabytes data uh, just use MBR but if one if you want to apply as a role uh, as a sys admin role uh, you need to properly plan uh, what's going on with the data. If you if you think that the data will exceed uh, two terabytes of data, then you need to implement GPT. And again, uh, you need to find out uh, the compatibility with the hardware. So that's 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 the one of the uh, the role of the sysadmin. Okay, now it's done, pretty much. Uh, if you can. Uh, if you can follow this uh, lab, uh, you need the you need your USB key, and that's pretty much like the step. Your USB key, uh, you need to run the gparted, and then we will create the partitions, volume group, logical group, and uh, assign the file system. So that's that's the entire uh, lab sessions. Uh, for your information, uh, assignment due date uh, not this sunday so you will have uh more time uh not too much uh because like it's only three days but yeah i hope that uh it gives you like a, a good time for you to to submit so that's good okay uh i will just uh i will just uh hi aaron <laughs> sorry i forgot to say hello <laughs> um okay i will just uh, switch to uh Respian switch to Respian. I will uh, I will be back. I will just stop the screen sharing and switch to Rabian. R Respian. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. 
a second I will insert the oops okay Okay, now I have just switched to a uh, fresh VM. So I will just uh, I will just demo uh, the the lab. Hopefully, you can uh, while I'm doing the demo, uh, you can just follow. Uh, this lab. Okay, so ls list block uh, here. I haven't um, I haven't uh, installed my um, USB. Okay, uh, I will make it bigger. Yes, yes. Just give me a second. Uh, zoom in. Uh, sorry, shift. Uh, my shift control plus plus is not working. I think shift control. Yeah, it's not working. So that's why I need to do. Uh, uh, is it? Is it good? Nice. Nice. Looking good. Okay. So again, I will do list block here. So I haven't inserted my. Uh, my uh, flash disk. So now I will insert a flash disk. There you go. Oh, yes, that's my flash disk. So this is the SDA. That's my flash disk. And I will just uh, open up the run the departed here. Departed system tools departed. Oh, uh, for your informations, uh, if you uh, for your informations, if you use the the Raspbian desktop, you might not see this one. System tools departed. Uh, you just need to install that one from the command app uh, uh, apt install departed. But if you if you can see the options departed, that's great. Okay, so now I'm opening the departed. Yes, that's great. Installing now. I'm opening the departed here. Okay. Uh, okay, this is my SD uh, card that I don't want to touch because uh, it's going to be really bad if I delete this. So I'll just switch to my uh, flash dish. So this is my flash dish. Uh, yeah, pretty much I've already formatted. So the, the space, it's not allocated at all. So I just need to go to device, create partitions here. Again, that's... Uh, that's in the second page. MS DOS, second page here. Uh, I will just change to GPT here. GPT, apply. GPT, apply. And now. Hmm. Click GPTS partitions and select the partition type. 
right? Okay, let me try again. Okay. Now I create new partitions. Partitions. So once I for the uh, I uh, once I create a new partition table type GPT, and now I create the the partition which I will be assigned this partition, uh, sorry, which I will uh, use this partition as a logical uh, logical volume. So in this case, uh, I will just use, just following that one, part one, so part one, and then you can just use this one like a scroll, or you can just simply type this one, doesn't matter. Same. So this is part one, and I uh, do uh, another one for part two. Part two, and I will add this one. Just follow the instructions, and then I will just uh, apply. Lost the data. Yes. The password is uh, Raspberry. Oh, res Raspbian, uh, Raspberry, Raspberry. That's a password. I think that's that's a default password. Try that one. If not, yeah, I believe Raspberry. Still in process. <laughs> yeah, mine mine is really slow. I think because of um, you know, like I'm running uh the screen sharing at the same time. So it's taking like lots of memory. So that's that's a problem. I think yours when you when you try this lab, it'll be so much faster. Like if you if you came to the lecture yesterday, I think Paul uh, he he had difficulties on um, yeah, see? Yours is done. So mine because like I'm I'm doing the screen sharing, open up uh, the the collaborate yeah, that's that's a problem. So so once I uh, done that one, create partitions again. So once I create partition, I need to format to LVM to PV here. LVM to PV. Again, if you uh, wait. Let me check. Some of you, yes, that's what I was, uh, what, I, what I was about to say. Yours, if yours is grayed out, um, you need to install. You need to install the LVM V2. So use this command. So I think I think you're uh, you are running the same uh, the same uh, Raspbian uh, as mine. Uh, yeah, so that's why uh, you you gotta install that one. Uh, but remember, after you install the LVM, you need to restart your Gparted. 
So close your deposit and reopen again. And you will see that um, that uh, file systems. So I will just run this, apply. It's pretty much like the 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 latest versions, the latest versions of um, uh, Logic of Volume, LVM two. Uh, EDC, what's that? I've, I've never, I've never heard about that one. EDC, EDC R F V 12. Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Ding, ding. Now everyone knows. Now everyone knows your password and it is public. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's just local. So that's why I thought I thought you were mentioning about uh, another another part another another partition type, and then I was just wondering, hmm, what's that? <laughs> I've never heard. <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, so okay, succeed operation complete. So now I've already created um, this one. I've already created two. I was going to compare it to, yeah, you can. I mean, like this one, um, you can just simply uh, use. Uh, I mean, like you can just simply. Uh, you don't really have to follow uh, using the LVM to PV. You can just use ext4. Uh, but again, uh, I couldn't remember on top of my head. Um, there, there'll be. Uh, there are some advantages by using ext4. Um, yeah, uh, that should be covered on uh, lecture four, week four, uh, when Paul uh, explain uh, explain yeah explain about the benefit of having ext. Not really, you don't have benefit on having uh, ext two, but you know like ext two, three, four. F, uh, I I don't think that uh, he mentioned about uh, FAT sixteen or thirty two. That's okay. So now. Uh, I, we have already created two uh, logical volume. Uh, one, uh, the logical volume, I, I, I call it like the, uh, the part one, another one is part two. So we've done with the uh, gparted, so I can just minimize that one. So now if I just run the LSBLK again, see I have uh, this one. Uh, I have two uh, partitions here, uh, SDA1 and SDA2. Uh, the one that I uh, already created. Uh, now uh, we will create the uh, volume group. sudo g create. Uh, that's the command to create the volume group. Uh, that's pretty much uh, your uh, student ID. Or you can just use any name, but for for this uh, for this uh, particular for this case, uh, yeah, use that one. So def uh, sda one def sda two. Okay, so now you, now we have already created the the volume group. Uh, in order for you to see uh, the details of your volume group. I believe the comment would be Fiji display with sudo. There you go. So once you've created your volume group, uh, the second comment, which is Fiji display, that's how you see your volume group. That's how you see your volume group. So the next step would be uh, so we have already put, uh, we have already uh, create the volume group, and 
uh, at the same time, we assign those uh, logical volume into volume group. So the next one, we will create the we, we will run the uh, logical volume command to create. So we have already create partitions. Now we create the logical volume in that partitions. Okay, so we need to run the LV. Oops, sudo LV create. Okay. That's the name of your uh, volume group. Oh, oops, wrong. Logical volume. So if you if you see this comment, that's the switch L, hundred percent free. That's meaning that uh, you extend hundred uh, percent. You extend you extend the pretty much like you want to use the entire uh, logical volume. So that's why that's that's use hundred uh, percent free. Uh, but if you want to know more details about that one, you can just go to uh, man. Uh, uh, LV create. So that's for more information. Uh, that's to create logical volume. Okay. Now, once we create the uh, logical volume, uh, we just wanna check what what's the details of our logical volume by uh, running the command LV uh, display. Okay. So that's the one that we created, the logical volume. So we have the logical volume and we have the uh, logical group there. Uh, once we create the logical volume, uh, we now we assign or we create the file systems on that. Uh, sudo mkfs ext4 def. Create a journal. Cool. So, so we have already created the volume group. We have create. We have already created the logical volume. We have assigned the the logical volume to the volume group. And uh, we have uh, we have formatted the our logical drive uh, using the ext4. Now uh, now we need to uh, we need to mount mount that uh, particular uh, logical volume. Uh, if you if you if you just uh, have look your uh, web sheets page uh, last page. So sudo. Uh, hmm. So I'll check my whether I've got <coughs> a pretty good pie. Okay, that's not. <coughs> Oops, just give me a second. Sure, thank you. Thanks, women, for coming in. Have a good night. Just two more steps and we're done. Pseudo mount dev. So now we mount this uh, logical volume to your uh, pi, uh, pretty much to 
to my home. Instead of instead of going deeper to the folder data, I just I just put it here. Hmm. Okay. Compy. Uh, uh, no, I shouldn't. Sorry, my bad. I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't uh, mount to my home pie. Because uh, I want to show you something about the permissions. Yeah, just you mount. Target is busy. It's okay. I will just pie. Um, I want to show you the permissions. So there, I've already, I've already mount uh, my. Uh, oh, okay, so that's fine then. Okay, so this is the one that I want to show you. So I thought that it's gonna be a pie. Uh, so in this case, it's totally fine. It's totally fine uh, if I if I use uh, permission root. But hopefully, uh, when you I'm not too sure. Like, are you are you doing are you are you creating uh, another user account on your Raspberry Pi uh, using your uh, using your uh, student ID or not? If you're use, if you're creating, if you're creating um, uh, another user instead of Pi, because like at the moment I'm just using Pi here. I'm using Pi, so it doesn't matter for me. For if I don't run the the last command, you know, the ch on. Yeah. So Ian, if you if you're using using Pi for this for this uh, lab, don't worry about the 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 last step because like the last step. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, like that's that's for your uh, for your uh, information only. Uh, in this in this uh, for today's lab, uh, if you use a uh, user pi, uh, don't worry about the ch on. But uh, if you if we use like uh, some other user, and you want to you want to assign uh, you want to access that uh, particular folder after you mount the the logical volume. You have to run the 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 the, the sudo sudo cho. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, not ch mode, uh, cho. Yes, cho. Ch mode just to change the permission. Cho. Uh, you change the owner. You change the owner. So this is for example only. It's it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. So I'm saying that uh, here, I just want to uh, change uh, the permission on my Pi uh, to uh, to this user, E100300, uh, and the group E100300, and I will assign to the Pi. So uh, in this case, uh, uh, the user E100300, uh, so anyway, the, the, the different user uh, from Pi is able to access that uh, mounted folder. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like the the whole the the tutorial. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Um. Yeah, we we've made it on time actually. Like 30, 30 minutes. Uh, I've covered the concept. Uh, another half an hour. I've already covered uh, the implementations, which is good. Yeah, two minutes to go. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's done. <laughs> Uh, today's today's lab. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Straightforward. Uh, you can just simply uh, watch again uh, the concept. Um, hopefully, it helps you to to give you like a better understanding about uh, today's tutorial uh, rather than just following all the steps. But uh, have a look the first uh, thirty minutes from uh, from the PowerPoint. Uh, pretty much, I just summary and I I, I just uh, I've I've taken out. The, the important, the essential stuff from the week four, and I try to expand uh, expand the concept uh, to give you like a better understanding. Yes, yes, you can, you can, you can try that. You can try that. That's a good exercise. But uh, if I can give you the advice, probably you can try that one. 
once you've done your uh, first assignment. <laughs> yeah, first assignment. Uh, yeah, you you've got you've got. I believe you've got like uh, you've got a, a quiet uh, a quiet week. I mean, like week week seven. I think week seven or eight. I couldn't remember. Uh, week seven or eight. Uh, week seven. Uh, next week we will be learning about how to compile the kernel. I believe, but uh, Paul hasn't hasn't written the the lab sheets yet. Uh, that's uh, it. It's yeah. That's that that's a uh, uh, quiet week. So you can use that one uh, for your uh, practice. Uh, but from from week eight up to eleven, like three weeks, uh, we will be learning about the bash. It's scripting. It's more like uh, yeah. If you, it's really like a programming skill set. Uh, so we will we will be learning about the for loop while uh, bash script. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, but uh, it's 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 not like an an advance, but just give you a little bit. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. So when you when you say little two lines, uh, meaning that uh, you write this one, uh, bin bash like this. Yay. <laughs> so that's uh, yeah, that's considered as a. As a as a little play with bash, <laughs> okay, that's great. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you uh, I hope you can uh, finish up your assignment uh, one. Um, yeah, if you get stuck, uh, feel free to jump into discussions. Uh, yeah, but mostly uh, uh, either myself or Paul uh, will answer. Uh, but I think I believe it's mostly Paul. Paul, Paul will answer because like Paul will since Paul created all the assignment, he will give you like a, a really directions what does he want from your assignment. But if you got stuck in the technical uh, technical uh, issues, I'll be happy to uh, more than happy to help for for the technical issues. But in terms of uh, what what you have to submit this and that, I, I believe Paul can give you like a better directions. Okay, that's it from me. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free. If not, uh, we can just call it a day. All good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Ian, uh, for coming. Thanks, Aaron, for coming in. Um, yeah, hopefully. Oh, I haven't, I haven't asked about you, Aaron. How is it going with your assignment before we? Uh, before we we end our uh, lab six. Is everything okay, Aaron? Your assignment? Oh, okay, that's that's fine. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and you you can ignore me, but I just want to give uh, Aaron uh, tips. Uh, I think uh, yeah, because like uh, he's he was late on this. Yeah, okay, that's great. Congratulations, congratulations. Part time, uh, full time, which is more money. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, give you. I just want to give you like a little bit tips. Uh, I've, I've I've spoken to uh, Ian about it. So so pretty much pretty much. Uh, in order for you to pass your first assignment, so uh, the libert lag, libert lag, definitely you get 15 marks if you can just follow whatever uh, the the lab that uh, that I already recorded. The li libert lag, you will get. That's right, yeah, lab four. Libert lag, you will get 15 marks. Uh, install Docker and you know like run your image pretty much just last week. Last week. Uh, if you if you can just watch the recording last week, yeah, you can get uh, the marks of that. All the packages that you need to install just out of the box. When I say out of the box, uh, you can just run uh, using, uh, for example, like in Ubuntu, uh, up get whatever the, the 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 package. You can just run it. Yes, that's in Ubuntu. Uh, you know, like in terms of the 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 additional mark uh, I believe you don't want to miss you know like if you please uh, don't forget to put reference uh, no uh, uh, double double triple check your uh, spelling mistakes uh, 
and uh, spelling mistakes, and then uh, pretty much just use like a proper layout and professional presentations. Pretty much, you 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 will have like 15 marks of that. Also, if you keep committing and push your uh, your Docker image to uh, Docker Hub, you will have five marks. So pretty much like uh, you will have like 60 or 70 marks in total. But if you if you've done all of those stuff and you want to push to HD, that's where you you can just do you know like the additional uh, 20 marks, uh, which is the section make the following configuration changes in the Docker. So yeah, that's that's pretty much for the tips. Do not get stuck with that particular uh, uh, task, or else uh, yeah you will uh, you will miss uh, the easy mark. So that's that's a, a tips from me. I hope all the best for all of you guys. Uh, have a good night and uh, have a great week ahead. Uh, I'll see you next week.